I'm, I'm curious to hear. Like here, it's extremely normal that people will pay with their phone. It's 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 very very normal. It's very very normal that people will pay their phones here. <coughs> oh my god, sneezing. <coughs> oh my goodness, Jesus. Lots of places here still don't take it. That's insane. Everywhere here, literally, you won't find a single place in Australia that doesn't take phone payments unless you're like at the flea markets or something and somebody has like a cash only stall but there's like there's like literally nowhere here where you cannot pay with your phone not working everywhere i need all my hospital cards i've rented a healthcare card oh what if kitty passes out you expect some stranger fiddling with kitty's phone to figure out who she is no i'm saying that's why i bring my, my driver's license and my uh but I'm, I'm curious to know what what she needs it for do you have an emergency button on my phone with all my medical info and stuff on it? But I have to wear a right. See what I mean? What are you even putting in your wallet? I take a bit to adjust to stuff like that. Oh, you don't hundred percent trust the security, mate. I tell you what, I have been paying with my phone for like the last six years. Like, it's been so long. It's like I keep forgetting that America is like so slow with new stuff. Like, by like when um when I first started retailing, maybe like ten years ago or something like that. I think, I think in America, y'all were still, like, signing for things. Like, if you paid with card, you still fucking signed for things. Or, like, you could still pay with check and stuff like that. And it was just absolutely wild for me. Because you can't, you, like, you can't do that in Australia. There's, like, nothing that requires a, uh, like, a check or, like, a signature, basically, anymore. You know? So, redundancy. How many redundancy? Yeah, so a discount card. Put that on your, put that on your phone. Like, debit cards, like, cards, like, plural? How many do you need? But yeah, um, I, I, I get that, I suppose. I just don't see why it needs to be, like, a huge-ass wallet, I suppose. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't want my phone to know what I spend my money on. If you've got a banking app on your phone, then that's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same thing if you've got a banking app on your phone. You can still pay with check, it's just not preferred. That's crazy. You absolutely cannot pay with check here, anywhere. You you will get laughed out of the store. You, you absolutely cannot pay with check here. Okay, that's eight. I gotta write my eight number here as well. Alright, cool. So this is gonna be like an eight centimeter wide collar, right? That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's my collar. Okay, uh, do that. As well. I, was, I was just about to say, I have no idea how I'm going to do a closure on this thing. Obviously, um, Danny, you do do. I'm going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to be doing a button up front. So I don't need to worry about the back closure. I was just like, where's the zip going to go? Where's the zip going to go? I'm so not used to doing anything with like zips and stuff. Not used to it. Hi, Jess. Welcome in. It's a style thing. I like big wallets and I cannot lie. All your coupons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're looking cute. You're looking cute. You're looking cute, baby. Ay, baby. Sorry. I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm just having a day. Anyway. Alright. There's my collar. That's my collar piece. I don't know how this is going to look. It's possibly going to look really stupid. Um, It's... It's a, oh, it's, it's a little bit more angled than this one. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Hoping that it still kind of looks sailor collary, that's all. So I'm just worried that it's going to look kind of blocky. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like. I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to make a mock-up with it, right? I'm going to cut out this neckline, make a mock-up, see what it looks like. If it looks like trash, then I will improvise. <laughs> I'll, I'll do something else. I'll do something else. I have to carry my huge ass personal emergency supplies. Might as well have a huge ass wallet to match. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Crazy. Same with the UK. We pay with things with contactless. Just uh, attack your card once the transaction is finished. It's a culture shock to go to the US. Right? Right? It's so weird. There are so many things that are like so much like backwards. Like friggin' so much, uh, like the technology is so backwards in America. It's crazy. It's like it's like going into medieval times or something like that. You know, you can't pay with a banking app here. Really? That's wild. Wild. Buttons are superior. Zips over buttons. Are we gonna have a fight? Are we gonna have a fight. 
Americans their coupons. Just put it on sale, doofuses. I mean, to be fair, your favorite crafting store has uh, coupons as well. Sometimes, sometimes. Which is really weird, I just keep the coupons up at the front, the, the desk and if I like a customer, I'll just scan it. If I don't like a customer, fuck you. You gotta get, bring your own coupon. <laughs> just, I'm the worst. Do a coin flip, alright, I'll do a coin flip. Best hole in the wall restaurants are cash only. That's so weird, that's like not a thing here. Every single person takes f -boss here. Every single person takes contactless here. Only problem is when you go shopping and then out uh, for a meal, the bank bloody blocks your account for it. To me, wait, really? That, that's never happened, that's never happened to me. Even when my mum and I visit Canada, they have payment methods that aren't common here. It's wild. Oh my god. That's so cool. Alright. Even we take our cloth. See what I mean? And they're like a market store. Alright, remember head yes, heads, no tails. And it is. That is a tails, baby. That is a tails. Some of the cash only places are still good or charge a fee for card. I hate places that charge fees for card. Like it's so stupid. <laughs> I hate them. Fuck you and your processing fees. I know Sarah's van doesn't do it, so in, in, in addition to being like the, the cheapest uh, tornado potatoes on the coast, there's like, no, there's no uh, uh, like surcharge for uh, FBOSS payments too. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right. Now, I'm just gonna, all right, cutting this out. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. Yeah, some people just one big. Oh my goodness. Holy macaroni. Some people one big. $5 cash or card. Unbelievable. Wait, I thought you upped it to $6. I had to pay by e-transfer at an Indonesian restaurant lately because I didn't have cash. I didn't see the site after I ordered E-transfer. What e-transfer? Oh no. But yeah, you pay cash up front in restaurants here, um, basically. Oh wait, no, hang on. Sorry, I'm thinking takeaway. I'm thinking takeaway. My apologies. My apologies. Restaurants here, you still pay afterwards. It's been a while since I've been to a restaurant, can you tell? Um... <laughs> Not yet, gotta wait for the right time. Is the right time now? Because that's like still wildly cheap. Still like completely traumatized by like the $11 tornado potato up here. Completely traumatized. There's still a line. We're still a line. Ridiculous. I hate, I hate those people. Expensive tornado potato. I'm gonna start making my own. You know what? I'm gonna start making my own. I'm gonna like... I'm gonna get the recipe from Sarah. I'm gonna start... Gonna start making our own at home because we can't afford any of the ones when we go out to flea markets. Wildly, everything's gotten so wildly expensive. In shops, like potatoes, holy shit, have they gone up in price. Everything's gone up in price. You can fucking find potatoes here. I don't know what's going on. Some sort of like farmer shortage thingy. I don't know what's going on, but it's expensive and I hate it. You never learned to write a check. Me neither. You went to one earlier this week. Did I? Did I? Did I actually? Where? Where did I, where did I go? Maybe the start of next financial will help with accounting. Will it? Will it? So was some dick who was like, whoops, I'll be ready. Oh no. Cash or e-transfer with email. Mm. One bag will leave gluten free for uh, 2.2 2 liters of, okay. Right. Do, do, do recall that I'm not making that many. <laughs> I don't need a whole bag of flour. That's, I gotta figure out like small quantities so I can make like two or something. I could eat two. I could slam down two in a setting, you know? Make two and then I gotta like, make four for like two for Alex, two for me kind of thing, you know? I gotta figure out the spiraling system. I think I've got some metal skewers somewhere. Should you be using metal skewers in a hot oil? Probably not. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, we went to lunch at the Gold Coast. Yeah, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. We didn't even get to pay, you bastards. <laughs> they paid for us. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, Alex's birthday. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. We did. We did go. I keep forget like the trauma from how expensive that was. You keep forgetting about it. <laughs> Bamboo. Make it yourself. You might need a cutter. Just gonna do it by hand. Just gonna hand cut them. Just run a knife along them. Terrible. That ratio will make about 80 serves. Oh, so just, just an everyday lunch for me. Everyday lunch for me. 
Um, you should buy yourself a potato spiral cutter. We used to have um, curly fry cutter. I bought it and then I immediately broke it and I never got to use it even once. And I'm really pissed off. Um, yeah, because I used to have a curly fry cutter. Just put the potato in and you like do the thingy and it broke. It broke. It fucking broke. I'm so pissed off. I need to give myself permission to throw things away because it's currently still sitting in the closet and I'm like, ah, maybe it'll unbreak itself one day. You guys have that feeling ever when you've got something broken and you're, you like don't want to throw it out because it costs you money and it's just like you never... And I'm just like, maybe one day it'll unbreak itself or something, you know what I mean? The cutter is machined, $500. Oh, that's a bit unaffordable for potato spirals, I think. Debbie had a single-use kitchen device. I did, I did. I bought it about like 10 years ago and I never used it. And then when I tried to use it about three years ago, broken, broken, yep, so. <laughs> broken! Anyway, I'm fine. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this neckline out and then... And then, yep, I'm gonna cut this out. This is gonna be great. Womanizer, womanizer, womanizer. All right. Hopefully this will be high enough. High enough to like cover the tits, but not so high that I look Puritan, okay. Okay, let's go. Go. I don't think it would unbroke itself, but I think I might. I think that I need the pieces. It's like such a specialty instrument, though. Like I would never use the pieces, seriously. What if there's a less expensive one that's decent? No, I think there are like those hand cutter things, that, like for apples. You've seen like the apple cores and like kind of spiralizers. I think you can get one that like works by hand. Like, obviously not an industrial kind of quality, but, uh, you, you know, just, it's somewhere there. You need to go out and buy lunch, should I drive or go a half hour walk? Definitely Welcome half to hour our walk. Home. What? Chris L. Cox, how's it going? Welcome in! Non-subscribers, please copy. <laughs> hey, Shipwreck, how's it going? Welcome back! Welcome in! What were you up to? You doing some arting? Arting, eh? Silent L. Oh, well, I already fucked up. I already fucked up, didn't I? Chris, Chris or Cox. I'm gonna call you Cox. No, I'm gonna call you Chris, probably. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, hi, welcome in. Thank you so much for that follow, Chris. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Unicorn Princess Rave Raid. What were you arting? The apple ones leave a core, um, though I have one of those. Oh, okay. I understand. I understand. I understand. Silent L. Yeah, as I said, I already fucked up. I was, you've been in here for like less than 30 seconds and I've already fucked up. But it is good to meet you though. It is good to meet you. Thanks for popping into my stream. I really appreciate you. Today, we're doing some Star Wars sewing. Thank you, Supreme Doom. And Chris, for that follow, thank you, I appreciate you. We're making a Star Wars dress out of this fabric. It's gonna be like all vintage and shit. I'm gonna attempt to, <laughs> attempt. There'll be an attempt. So we'll see, how, we'll see how good it goes. I'm currently making the pattern for it. And I'm gonna be doing a draft this stream day. Matlock, Ziggy, thank you so much for that follow. Look at you guys. Oh my God. Thank you for not calling me Supreme Doom. Supreme Doom. Oh, Super Me Doom. Super Me Doom. <laughs> hey, Super Me Doom. How is it going today? I'm joking. I'm jo I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or I'm already. I'm already fucking with you. You haven't. You've been a member for like less than a minute. I'm already messing with you. Um, keep it in the community. Are we? Oh, are we? <laughs> That that's kind of that's 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 the uh, that's the motto for incest. Keep it in the family. Um. Anyway. Anyway. Um. I love it. Thanks, man. One day. Supreme doom. How are you going today? How are you guys doing? Were you were you having a fun time? Were you having a fun time? Don't look at me like that. My my regulars are just. <laughs> My regulars can still be so disappointed in the things I say. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's totally gonna be saying super me doom going forwards. Yeah, you brought it on yourself now. It's fine. Everyone, literally everyone calls me car carbon chick. 
Despite the fact that chic is a word, like chic is an actual word. Like it's in the dictionary. Chic, it means like fashionable and shit. You fuckers. Um, sorry, I'm okay, I'm okay. Don't unfollow, it's fine. I'm normal, I'm, I'm like a normal e-girl streamer, everything like that. Hi everyone, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm trying my best, okay? I should do a rate call like that as well. Um, you know, carbon chic, chic, chic. Exactly, exactly, Danny. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was chic with a sh. See, see, you knew, you knew. No, but it's so episode. It's all good. It's all good. Chic. That's right. However, however, my friends call me Demi. Welcome into the stream. I am a crafting streamer. What were you up to on your stream, though, Chris? Debbie using her retail voice of the Raiders. Hi everyone, so good to meet you. It will? Um, <laughs> carbon seek. Like hide and seek. I'm cultured, ship may not be. <laughs> Sorry to read a wrong again, client emails. No worries, see you later. Well, one day, one day someone will tell us what Chris was, was um, arting up. One day, one day. That's not my retail voice, no. I was just fucking with you, it's fine. Um, okay, so what I need to do is, is I need to grab my pieces here. I'm putting these pieces back in the pattern envelope, okay? Putting these pieces, making a 3D steak den. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, go, go to your emails, go to your emails. I understand, I understand. Thank you so much for reading and, you know, trusting your community with me, like a really terrible decision, truly, but um, I've, I've appreciated, you know? I appreciate it, thank you. Um, in Blender and Substance Paint, oh, those are, those are some fancy programs. Fancy programs, the most amazing 3D renders. He's a master of rendering. That's so cool. Do you do them for like, oh wait, he's gone. Um, I was about to say, do you do them for like game developments or like what do you, what do, you do them for? I have a partner who's a game developer. I'm just, I'm always, I'm always excited to drop that. I'm like, ah, I know someone who's a game developer, you know? Best game developer in Australia. But anyway, it's fine. Um, been here for or one minute already, I like you. I like you too, Matt Luck. I like you too. I like you a lot as well. <laughs> Ship is responsible for the rain. I figured as much. I figured as much. Ship was in here earlier, I noticed. You and your first, you weren't the first Ship. You were like the, the 12th. You gotta... Gotta get in line, buddy. You gotta get in line. We got them puzzles coming up in the at the start of stream. That's why everyone is here early. Because they want to do the fucking puzzles. You know? Everyone's obsessed with the puzzles over here. We're like a puzzle community, we are. Puzzle! I'm following you. Thank you! I appreciate that. Hashtag <laughs> blame shit. Going for real. Okay, see you later. Thank you so much again. I appreciate it, because I mean, Ship was responsible for the raid, but I mean, you are the one who did end up raiding me, so, you know. Australia, I have a question. What do you call mosquitoes there? Mozzies. We call them mozzies, or little fuckers, sometimes. One of those things. It's, it's one of those, you know. Fuckers, mozzies, it's, you know, that's just, <laughs> you little fucker, that's what we say to them. Um, <laughs> that's what we say. Demi is Alex's number one fan. I seriously am. I absolutely am. For real. Um, don't follow me because I've never streamed. <laughs> this, thank you for the heads up. I would I would thank you. That's that's really valuable information. Thank you. Um <laughs> Demi, I finished the fox stuffy. Oh <gasps> you finished the fox stuffy? And yeah, we do call them mozzies. We do. We absolutely do. Mozzies, you got them, you got them all, you got the mozzies, you got the mozzies, you got the mozzies, where is the fox? Oh my gosh, look at this cute little fox plushie. Look at me, I'm so, I'm so hi-fi, this is, this is how, this is how I, how I show images on stream, high tech. I hold up my iPad, that's what I do, you know. That's what I do. Alright, so, I have a coat hanger here for whatever reason. I think it was this dress that I'm wearing currently. It was this dress that I'm wearing. Off for a walk? Okay, have a good walk, Kenneth. See you later. See you later, buddy. Buddy old pal. All right. All right, so what I gotta do is I gotta put this stuff back. I'm creating a little bit of a mess. 
So I'm being very wary to kind of put stuff back where it belongs, right? Okay. Now. Okay. So I'm going to grab some fabric. Some fabric. I feel like I want to try this like calico just because what I'm using is a very thick fucking fabric. So if I don't make a draft with like a thick fucking fabric, then it's just, it's just, it's not going to, it's not going to look good. It's not going to look good, right? Um, you are a breath. You are a breath. A breath of fresh air. You are a breast of fresh air. I mean a breath of fresh air. I mean legs of fresh air. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> glad you're enjoying yourself. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna use this moldy fabric to sew some, and this is moldy fabric. I, I don't know what happened to this fabric. It's super moldy, um, but we're doing a draft with it, so it's okay. I'm I'm getting rid of it. Okay, I'm getting rid of it. Okay. 